did you know that you were going to be this good? I knew I wanted to be that good. You know what? I've probably given up about 20 wins. So, I mean, I could be, I feel like I could be a lot further along than where I'm at. Yeah. That's how I look at things. Yeah. You know, I look at the days we lost right. and, and seeing why and how can we make those days better and not happen again. You're winning races. You know, I love your little burnout and you get out and you bow. I mean, you almost taunt the fans. <laughs> It's fun, right? It, well, I, you did. I was guilty of that you to did. some degree, but are you having fun with that or is it getting to you? I felt worse in the beginning about getting booed than I do now. I'm having fun with it. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's the greatest thing. I'm like, you know what? You don't like me. That's fine. You like Dale Earnhardt Jr. You like Jeff Gordon. You like whoever you like. You know, that's fun. That's, that's what this sport is so much fun with because there is such passionate people. You're not going to please everybody. Jeff Gordon can't do it. Right. Dale Earnhardt Jr. can't do it. Right. How am I going to do it? You <laughs> would, didn't do it. No. Would you like to be as popular as Dale Jr. is? No. <laughs> no. no. To be honest with you, no. I wouldn't. Right now, I can just barely get away with going out. And it's gotten to the point now where I'm, I'm getting noticed a lot more, but they're still cool about being calm about not it. Not fanatic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, not like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Dale Jr. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you know, brothers don't always see eye to eye. No. I, I don't know if you. you I can I can attest to that. Right. How, what is your relationship like with the Kurt? It's good. You know, off the racetrack, it, it, it's good. We we talk a little bit, and we can, you know, be us here or there and stuff like that. But on the racetrack, we seem to have a little different philosophy. <laughs> I kind of want to be s smart to him. Yeah. And say, well, that's how we do it up front. <laughs> Because last year he struggled, <laughs> yeah. but I, I've kept my mouth shut, so now this is probably going to get out to him. But you know, it's, I love it, it. <laughs> it's like when you when I see an opportunity, I go for it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's Kurt, it doesn't matter if it's Jeff Gordon, if it's Jimmy Johnson, if it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. If I see an opportunity, I'm going. I get a tweet every now and then. Okay. And I got one, and they want to know if you've ever scared yourself in a race car. I have a couple times, yes. First ever scare I had though was uh, when I was driving a Legends car back at home in Vegas, I was 14, thing clipped dead right and went right on into the wall. And so that one was a hard hit. And I thought after that, I wasn't gonna be able to get back in one, but you know what, my dad was like, you're gonna have plenty of those, and more than likely, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna walk away from it. That last one, <laughs> you might not walk away from. So I was like, well, let's build it, let's put it back together, nine let's Nine out of 10, yeah. All you need to be is challenged. When Rick Hendrick said, adios, that was a challenge. When you got into COT, that was a challenge. So you love a challenge. And every week is a challenge, really. I mean, I want to go out there and win. The win is the challenge. And sometimes we don't meet that. But ultimately, you know, we give it our best shot. We try our most. The thing that I'm all about is, is winning. You know, and anything less than winning is just, it's a loss. You throw it away. You know, he's a smart kid. He's got, there's a lot going on in that head, but I got to tell you something else. There's a lot going on in that heart, too. He does a lot for kids, has a great foundation. He is a very caring, giving young man. Proud to be able to do that interview with him. Yeah.